Hello, hello, hello. This is my spaceship. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just started with this, so if you want to subscribe or give it a like, do it right now because this video will be good, I promise you. So I've been working on a series of images for the last weeks or so and I want to show you what I created here. And I really like this stuff, so I want to show you how to make this fella over here. Mm, I've been using the human generator plugin for this one and some geometry nodes. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I did this and maybe we'll make something similar to this or even better. So see you there. This is the blend file from this piece. Mm, there is a human generator model in there. Uh, the separated head with the geometry nodes on it some stuff around the neck here and yeah some cameras and planes to block out light and yeah make the scene a little bit more interesting so i get rid of all of those stuff and we recreate this one okay this is the cleaned up file mm, deleted everything that was in there so we can start over from scratch um, I'm using the human generator plugin for this. If you don't get this, um, I put the link in the description. Um, it is a paid plugin on Blender Market. Uh, my go-to plugin uh, these days, using it all the time. It is super useful, um, easy to handle and yeah. But you can do this with everything else. We just start with the human generator right now. Um, you can show these uh, menu on the side here if you press N and hide it. Always really useful if you got a small screen or something. You can just hide this stuff and uh, got more in the viewport. Okay, let's create, a, I would say, a female. Um, this one over here. Generate new human. And yeah, we basically got one. Um, to make this a little bit shorter, we just um, hit the random button on the uh, body just to get something to start with. Mm, I would say we leave the face like it is. And something else we want to do. I think we don't need anything right now. Okay, finish creation phase. Okay, so first thing we want to do is um, make uh, work on the pose. So let's use the rotate tool, uh, making the model look a bit um, down and yeah, change some values to make it a little bit more interesting um, let's get into object mode again and find a perspective that we can use right now always try to find a good perspective right in the in the beginning so i know which spots need to look good and yeah, everything you don't see in the camera is not the priority so let's leave it like this for now. We can change this later. Mm. Yeah, I want to tilt the head a little bit. So get back into the pose mode. And yeah, tilt it a little bit to the side. What I also try to do is um, raise the shoulders a little bit and we can use the shoulder that is um, facing the camera so get this arm a little bit down raise the shoulder a bit okay don't want to spend too much time on this right now I want to show you how to make the head, right? Okay, next step is we want to create a copy of the head. 
so we can put our geometry nodes on this. Uh, for this, I would just duplicate the whole body. Uh, Shift D, just drag it up. Oh, that looks crazy. Um, and press right click so it uh, pops into the place it was before. And now we got two bodies here. <coughs> Let's hide the original one. We need this one later for um, yeah the rest of the body. Okay, let's separate the head or make a delete everything except the head. Um, press tab, get into edit mode. Mm, we can hide the eyes and the teeth because that looks fuck beautiful. And yeah, okay. We want the geometry nodes to be um, to this point here. Okay, you can just double click on um, on the side of a face here. So it, yeah, selects like the, the whole loop from it. Uh, press X, delete faces. So now we got this separated and can easily just select a face here and click Command L. So all the linked uh, faces are selected right now and press X and delete all that stuff. So now we got our head separated. Uh, we can go back into object mode right now. Um, show the main body again. Okay, let's start with the geometry nodes part. Mm, I switch over to my geo tab. Mm, I got tabs for materials, full view and uh, yeah, geo nodes and sculpting and modeling and stuff. So I can easily uh, switch between those and, and don't have to rearrange the um, windows here all the time. Okay, we select the human generator body number two. First thing we're gonna do is uh, delete all the materials on there. I already did this. And um, yeah, go over here and create a no new geo node. Um, hit new here and if you can't find your geometry node here just uh, click view and frame all and you see what you got in the geometry nodes okay let's start first thing we need is a dual mesh so um, hit shift a type search or click search and type dual mesh put this in there mm. Now we need to need the extrude mesh. And the offset scale, we wanna um, put an own value in there. You can use the random node. So search for random value, put this in here. I put a value of 0.03 for the minimum maximum zero and cool thing is you can you also have a seed value here so you can change the yeah the seed of it here and change the overall look of it mm, what else do I got uh, scale elements so shift a scale elements put this in here we also need to put the top into the selection we're going to create another random value for the scale in the scale elements so search for random value again let's place this here and another one there and we leave the first one on zero for the minimum and the max at one it was already on one okay we put the value in the max this one into the scale here okay so next thing we gonna do ah you need to change this one here from face to edge and single axis okay So we already got something weird looking here. 
but we are not finished yet. So we need a new one. Flip faces. Put this in here and extrude mesh again. Put this on the bottom here. You plug both of the, you put both of the scale elements geometry in this here. Now we want to join these. So type in join geometry. Plug both in there. And now we want to merge by distance. So search for merge by distance. Plug this also in here. And now we need a subdivision surface. Plug this in here also. And put the distance in the merge by distance to zero. And we need this later. Another node we need is set shade smooth. Also plug this in here. And yeah, in the end we need a set material so we can give this a material. So next thing we're gonna do is bring the values a little bit down here because we can't see anything here. So go into the extrude mesh node and type in like a really low number, for example, 0 0.001. Hit enter, yeah, that looks better. And we got a, another thing we need to change. Um, you put the random value not into the offset, but in the offset scale. So this one we got pretty similar to the one uh, I showed you in the beginning. And yeah, let's see what else can we do here. Um, so we got the subdivision surface node here. You can increase the levels here. Um, two or three uh, works fine here uh, to make it even smoother. Mm, I leave this at one for now. Um, yeah, and you can change the material here. I used my car paint OG material on here, the original gangster material and yeah this is what we got here okay let's uh, make the background black because i think that fits a lot better i have some planes here and some lights Yeah, let's render this a bit. Um, my camera has a depth of field. Where is it? There is it. Let's select the camera, go into the camera view. And here yeah, to know what you are doing here, um, you can activate depth of field here in the solid view. And now you see um, the depth of field here. It's usually not enabled from the beginning. Okay, to control the depth of field better, <coughs> you can put the f-stop to like something really, really low. 0.2 for example. And now you can control with the distance where you want the focus to be. So in these pieces, I usually um, change the color of the skin too, so it fits better with the black background. So I select the main body here, go over to my material tab, and this is what you get with the human generator um, plugin for the body and skin. And we create a new node, mix RGB, Place this over here and plug this one here in color one, make this one black and plug it back into the base color. Let's see what we got. And if you turn it all the way to one, you get like completely um, black. Let me place it around all nine. 
just to give it an effect like there is um, a little bit more shadow although the uh, area light is uh, lighting everything up so yeah this is usually what I do okay now you can uh, find a good angle for um, your image mm, we will duplicate our camera with shift D right click and activate it here what you can do is um, go into the rendered view and press N and um, go into the view tab and um, click camera to view so now if you move um, here you can change the camera and see exactly what you are doing I make me a shortcut key on Q for this so I can just easily um, disable or enable this because I'm using this all the time and yeah you can now find a good angle here maybe something like this is fine okay that's it for the video I hope you like this one mm, maybe you can use this technique in your own work or in your own pieces and hope you had fun if you like this video give it a like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one peace